Good morning everyone, it's me Rose with Sustainable Gardening News coming to you live from our garden today. I'm sitting right here by our kale and collards patch. Um, as you can see, these guys are gorgeous and um, lovely. They're gonna provide us with some beautiful greens through the fall and into the winter here. Now these actually were planted uh, as seeds last fall, so they have overwintered, over summered, and now they're uh, regrowing again. I do have a new bed of seeds that I just planted recently. They're little seedlings now, so they'll probably do the same thing and they'll provide us with some great greens in the next spring and next fall. So um, these guys here look really nice right now. Um, they were uh, infested with a few different pests here. We, we have two main brassica pests here in central Ohio. One is the cabbage worm, um, comes from the cabbage moth, um, also called cabbage caterpillar, cabbage butterfly. Um, and I had one on here, but I squished it earlier, so I don't know if I have one to show you. We mainly have the little green kind, but there are a few different kinds of them. And they all respond really well to a BT, which is a actually a bacteria. You can buy it from, um, this probably came from Lowe's, I think. Um, Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that have it, garden stores. Um, this is organic approved, and it's just a bacteria that infects the caterpillar, and then they die within a couple days. So um, you just mix it with water according to the instructions on the bottle. I usually mix it up in a little uh, reusable sprayer and spray it on the plants, and it works like a charm. Um, this bottle actually <laughs> is about eight years old, and um, it's only it's still about half full, so it works great. So if you keep it somewhere cool and dry, it should last a long time. And um, the other pest that we have problems with here is aphids on our brassicas, and they can really do quite a number on these plants. We actually, these had such a severe infestation earlier this summer, I really thought it was going to have to pull them all out. Um, but I sprayed, I thought I would try the neem oil spray and sprayed it, these all pretty heavily, um, I would say about a month ago. And as you can see, they, they look amazing now. They all have brand new, gorgeous regrowth and everything. Um, so it worked really well and neem oil you want to use a hundred percent neem oil I don't know if you can see that there and um, there will be a recipe or link to a recipe in the description of this video so you can see the easy recipe that I use and um, you just want to spray it on really heavily usually you want to repeat maybe every a week or two just until your problem is gone just to make sure you catch any stragglers but I think I actually only spread these guys once and it all cleared up pretty nicely so um, lastly I do want to say we do prefer to use kind of let nature take its course if we just have a mild infestation so for cabbage mo cabbage worms for example I'll just pick them off if I see big ones and I'll give them to the chickens they love them or um, for aphids, if I see ladybugs in the garden, I'll go ahead and move them over to the plants that the aphids are on. And they probably did help with this infestation because we did have a few ladybugs in the garden and um, they probably helped clear them up. And as you can see, our plants are gorgeous now. So um, also for cabbage moths, one thing that we do use a lot is netting. So these actually were covered with netting earlier in the summer for quite a while, but they got a little too big and I needed my netting somewhere else, so I took it off. But netting works really, really well to keep uh, cabbage moss at bay. It doesn't work so well for aphids, they somehow manage to get through anyway. But, um, but with those methods, you can usually control your pest problems on your brassicas pretty successfully, at least uh, as, as I have found. So anyway, that is all for today. I will see you in our next video. And until then, happy gardening.